Hey everyone, if you like our content and want to help us grow our channel, you can support us on Patreon where you also get exclusive behind the scenes content. Otherwise, follow us on these social media platforms where you can help support us. A little goes a long way. Enjoy the rest of this video. Good evening everyone and welcome back to another NonoCat video. Today we will be taking a look at the Northeast MP2A1, otherwise known as the Uzi for the Bundesphere. As you guys can see, it does come in a very nice packaging with some Bundesphere design. And I know our video is a little bit late compared to everyone else's, but for our review, we will be looking specifically at the version 2 release, which has a lot of the fixes that addresses the performance issues found in version 1. Now on top of that, we will also be looking at the newly released MTP kit, which stands for the modernized technical platform. Let's take a look at it. Now let's take a look at the MTP kit. Now the kit itself consists of a very slick Amlock handguard, a top Picatinny rail mount that runs all the way, a 1913 stock adapter with QD sling mounts on both sides, as well as a side charging handle made of steel. Now the kit itself is CNC machine in T56061 aluminium and does spot a very nice anodized coating, which brings us to the actual gun itself. Now Northeast has yet again faithfully replicated the construction of another iconic gun, which means this Uzi replica is made of full steel. This includes the barrel itself, the barrel nut, the barrel nut lock, the front side assembly, the top cover, the receiver, the grip assembly, the trigger, the trigger guard, the grip safety, the QD sling mount, the rear sight, the sling itself, the mag release, the magazine itself, as well as the best space plate. Now the exception being the bolt, which is made of aluminum for gas efficiency purposes. Now due to its full steel construction, the Northeast replica does come close in terms of weight to its real counterpart, with the real Uzi coming at 3.5 kgs and the Northeast MP2A1 coming at 3.16 kgs with the underfolding stock. Now the MTP variant we have here is 3.1 kgs without the stock and with the magazine. And after placing some accessories, an optic and a stock on this, it did come almost at 4 kgs, which is quite some serious heft for a tiny submachine gun. But enough said, let's go break some bones. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Everybody in the world dies. Too give me a sign. A sign. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the gate. Hey, the top is so big. The shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand. Well, I know one piglet that will be missing his best friend, but on a serious note, the Northeast Uzi does replicate an open bolt system like its real counterpart, so 
Let's test it for accuracy, trigger response, as well as gas performance. So that's about 0.99 joules. Um, that's pretty good for uh, CQB. Um, the high is being 356, uh, which is kind of expected for the first two shots uh, for GBB. So ideally, that should actually pass the chrono for uh, CQB games. So um, let's uh, put on photo and see what it does. Hopefully, I've got enough rounds in this. All right, so um, as you guys can see, uh, FPS on the uh, full auto mode doesn't actually uh, work very consistently. Okay, so we're gonna do a gas efficiency test. Um, it's currently 16 degrees Celsius outside, um, but it is a little bit warm in here. Let's give it a go. So we'll fill it up with gas. Um, we're gonna see how many BBs it can go through with one fill. So if it runs out of BBs, we'll just fill it up with BBs again and keep going. All right, let's give it a go. Okay. That's 25. All right, and we're out of BB, so let's uh, keep filling it. Eight, 49, 50, 51, 52. So the magazine is getting quite cold, but we've just went through two full magazines uh, and shot about 52 rounds. Okay, I think this would be the last magazine. 53, 4, 55. It's getting really weak on 70 shots, so sit in one. There we go, 71 shots and it went full auto. But um, that is quite impressive. That's about two and a half max with one fill of propane. All right, now for a mag dump. Let's put that on fully automatic. Okay, here goes. Yeah. Doesn't sound too good, does it? <laughs> you ready? Seems like we're getting issues with the Mac dump. So maybe this gun isn't designed for full auto use. Um, I mean, maybe burst? We could try that. Okay, so uh, we're just going to run it in bursts. Uh, hopefully it'll work this time. Uh, I really like this gun, so I really hope it works in bursts. So let's give it a go. I'm going to go easy on it this time. Okay, you ready? I think it's out, but uh, it slowed down quite significantly at the end. Um, so, I guess even in bursts, it's uh, not very ideal. Okay, let's do an accuracy test with the Uzi um, at 20 meters out with 0.28 gram BBs. Let's see what it does. Okay. So we're going to use iron sights for this test.
I think that's 10 shots. Um, we've had quite a few misses from what we can hear. Um, let's see what the results are like. Okay, so we have the Uzi right here. Um, so we can see one, two, three, four, five shots. So we have five misses. Um, some of them miss the foam completely. Um, so, uh, you know, not very accurate at 20 meters. Now to end this video with some final thoughts. I personally really enjoy the MTP kit with the M-Lock handguard and the stock adapter, which allows the use of many brand new stocks that are currently coming out with this mounting option. The external construction being northeast is second to none, but being an open bolt system, we did see it struggle in terms of accuracy and gas performance on full auto. Now having a lighter bolt does equate to less recoil, which felt a bit like last year to us for a gas blowback. That being said, because of this, we did see some pretty good gas performance on semi-auto. Now the replica itself does chrono under 350 FPS on 0.2 gram BBs, and being small and modular does make it a perfect option for CQB scenarios. So once again, thank you to Northeast Airsoft for sponsoring this replica. We had a lot of fun playing with it and making this video. Now we look forward to seeing all the other Uzi variants that are going to come out in the near future. And to those who are wanting to buy a Northeast Uzi, please be aware to stretch before and after use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is another cat that's on the spear, and we'll see you in the next one. Today we will we will we Brand new MTP kit released by Northeast, which stands for the <laughs> modernized tactical platform. <laughs> the construction. So Northeast has done a great job at replicating the construction of yet another iconic gun, which means this replica is made of full steel. Enough said. Let's go break some bones. So Northeast has done such a great job at replicating the mini my, my, no full 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 size Uzi. Oh. <laughs> that it's a perfect option for CQB scenarios. Now thank you to Northeast Airsoft. <laughs> I almost said thank you to Airsoft again. Now thank you to Airsoft. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Thank you to Airsoft. Why? <laughs> now thank you to Northeast. <laughs> Why? Why do you even laugh for? Now thank you to Northeast Airsoft. <laughs> oh, no.